All right, hello, hello, hello. This is your dreaded cryptomaniac coming at you January 5th, 2021. All right, so a quick little analysis. Um, just browsing through uh, Litecoin a little bit, and it is breaking out bullish in a pretty strong kind of way. Um, this is a macro chart, uh, weekly, weekly time frame. Um, it's following the altcoin boom right now, so... You know, as a macro target, actually, let's draw a new fib. This is an old Fibonacci. Let's look at the macro fib. What we can expect on this whole move. All right, going down the cycle lows. It's kind of a similar to Ethereum, how brutal the bear market was on it. So we're testing right now a uh, key Fibonacci 0.382. Uh, 0.618 would be my uh, next bet as to where it would be going. Uh, maybe we consolidate a little bit right here on the uh, 1, 160 USD. But uh, ultimately, I would say the 786 would be the next level after that. We could just go straight to that but the 0.618 uh, traditionally is um, so that's often uh, the, where price likes to gravitate towards to um, yeah, traditionally but uh, yeah we're just getting started with this altcoin market you gotta think like if, if Bitcoin went up you know 50% above its all-time high so if we go 50% above Litecoin's all-time high. You're looking at seven hundred, six fifty, seven hundred dollar uh, Litecoin within this mini alt cycle. Um, so, like the Bitcoin cycle, I think is kind of coming to an end, and now we're moving into a an altcoin sort of cycle as Bitcoin kind of cools off. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research, but what I think may happen, yeah, Bitcoin might pull back, but Maybe it consolidates, waits for the uh, altcoins to finish their big boom, and then we get a big correction all out. You know, Bitcoin pulls back, they all pull back, and it gets kind of nasty for maybe a few weeks, and then we continue on to the next leg of the uh, bull run journey. I'm expecting a couple of those during this bull run, and my my exit's going to be end end of 2021 fall. Uh, Christmas time, you know, we'll see. I mean, it could go a little longer. A lot of people are saying it's going to be a longer cycle. I, as volatile as things has been, I don't, I don't think I agree. So, then there's also the having. Everything's kind of programmed to the four-year, kind of a four-year cycle. I mean, this actually, since it's going faster, I mean, it's a more volatile cycle, and there's more buyers, there's bigger buyers. That means the hash rate's going to go up. That means the halving might be earlier, which means this cycle might end faster. Um, we're breaking levels about a month or two ahead of normal. So if that's true, then next September, October might be the time to exit. Some people are saying earlier, some people are saying later. I'm... I'm, a, you know, I'm being more conservative with my uh, estimations. I, regardless, I'll probably start exiting around fall, Christmas time next year, just to be safe. That would be nice to exit for the next year tax season, but we'll see. We will see how it all goes. Um, but Bitcoin, we're kind of trying to retest the uh, previous highs. Let's take a look. And, uh, man, there was a major, major activity on the uh, blockchain stocks. Marathon merged with another one, DMMG or something. They're trying to become the biggest mining company, I guess, in the United States to compete with China. They're merging or something. I was reading a little bit about it. But MARA, Marathon... And that DMMG, I'm not really sure. It's like 75 cents. It's like such a cheap stock. And it just went crazy today. Um, but there's a bunch of those. Um, there's some ETFs, blockchain ETFs, Riot, Hive, uh, Canaan, 
uh, Cobalt. There's some cheap ones. Cobalt's cheap. And uh, Galaxy Digital. There's a lot of cheap ones. If you're a stock trader, that'd be one way to go. If you're a crypto guy, then this might be your way. Uh, Link is also breaking out. Let's get out of this Litecoin. Yeah, my Litecoin pr tr prediction, I think we're probably going to go to like 300. 250, 300. That's, um, yeah. I just can't believe how strong this whole rally has been. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to go for it. This kind of reminds me of the Ethereum chart yesterday. Let's see what Ethereum did yesterday. Let's see, it tried to make a make a run for it. Fell back down, and then we're going back up. So maybe Bitcoin does something similar right now because it seems to be losing some steam. Not a whole lot, but it just seems like that might be sort of what's panning out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what it does tonight. It, it's probably going to be forming some kind of ascending. You know, you can kind of project. You, what you want to do is sort of project where things are going to go. Like, you know, it's like, it's not like playing Go Fish. It's like playing poker. No, not really playing like poker, but. Hmm, I just think of a good, uh, maybe like playing pool. You want to know where your balls end up and you want to think ahead of the time. Or maybe chess. But, uh, yeah, this is one possible scenario. You know, maybe you fall back down, come back up, break up the next time out. And then sometimes you just break up immediately. This is Bitcoin. I feel like Bitcoin's probably going to consolidate, probably fall back down. We're in this we're in this zone between 34, 5, 36, or 35, sorry, and uh, 29 and 30. And 29 and 30 is in a golden pocket. Or is it in a pocket? Yeah. So maybe we just consolidate and kind of go into this area for a bit while the altcoins run. And here's one example of an altcoin running or getting ready to run. It hasn't really gone yet but link is it's prepping it's like it's charging its boosters oh, man, come on there we go maybe there's not much price data on uh, trading view for link well this is on the Gemini chart maybe there's more on the other but See, we're testing this old channel again, getting uh, getting rejected. So maybe we consolidate a little bit longer than pop up, but hopefully not. Hopefully we just bang through this thing. I'm getting impatient. Just want want to get into 2021, and I want to live my life again. Let's all get rich and take our masks off. That's what I'm about. Go back to living. ADAs went on a huge run. Oh man, it's still going. Uh, last time I looked at it, it was at 25 cents. I am a huge ADA holder and believer. Third generation Ethereum um, smart contracts. They're doing it right. Um, uh, there's a ton of potential. Now we're investing in the technology of blockchain, basically. It's like we're all holding a piece of the technology, you know, so people are like, oh, well, you're, why are you investing in companies without um, investing in the stocks? Like, well, crypto aren't stocks, they're, they're pieces of the technology. Like, it's like holding a piece of the internet. You know, it's, and it's not centralized like a stock is. It's, especially with some of these blockchains, they are, they aren't centralized. They don't have an entity. Like, Bitcoin doesn't have an entity or a company. Like where I guess the weird thing about Ripple XRP, it is a company, and I, I think they were trying to go public at some point, or maybe they were, but there is a conflict of interest there, and that's a little funny. But yeah, Uni, 
Theta has just been killing it. Thinking about selling some to buy some other uh, crypto, but I don't know. I really just wish I had more. <laughs> I'm probably I'm probably a bit more of a hodler than I should be with some of these. I mean, one of these things could go up 50% in one day, and I'll still sit there like, hmm, and just let it, you know, fall 20, 30%, and then let it consolidate for a year, and then it goes back up again. It's like, it's like smarter to probably take some profit, wait for it to come back. But the thing is, I hold so many cryptos, I can't do that for everything. So, yeah. yeah. There's different strategies. My strategy is a big, broad spectrum of coins, but it's not just like fifty dollars in one or you know I guess I do have some that is have like a hundred maybe but it's really not worth it unless you're putting five hundred to a thousand dollars in no coin hate to say it <laughs> I mean it's worth it but not if you're trying to like retire early and buy a condo in Santa Monica which is gonna be awesome because LA's real estate has gone to absolute hell and by the time our crypto market's done, it's probably going to be so cheap. <laughs> we'll see about that. LA's overrated. Depends on the homeless people leave. Um, but yeah, so we're in an altcoin cycle. Markets did great today. I think, you know, if, if depending on this Georgia stuff, I mean, if the markets didn't price in something and the news is surprising tomorrow morning, uh, markets will correct probably pretty hard because we've been on a really good rally. But uh, if whatever's priced in is priced in, say it's probably the best thing to do is Republicans get one seat and the Democrats get one. And it's a stalemate. I think the Dem Republicans would still close control. But I, I would say the markets have not priced in. The Democrats taking both seats. So if they do take both seats... Uh, man, I think everything will probably correct a good amount. Crypto, stocks, everything. But of course, I guess, yeah, so that we will find that out tonight more than likely. And tomorrow is the big rally, which I got invited to. And I'm sort of wishing I went. I don't know. Seems like an unnecessary risk, given the objective. Food bar. <laughs> I was just quoting Saving Private Ryan, if anybody knows. All right, well, that's just me. I just want to do a quick update for everything. Hang in there. I think Bitcoin's going to consolidate. We might float around to 29 again. You know, maybe we, if, if we get a bad crash, maybe we go down to 24. I think 20K is kind of out of the question. Um, Ethereum, what I'm sort of expecting, it, it could even pop out tonight. But my plan is, since Ethereum is kind of mirroring a Bitcoin cycle from last last market cycle, um, Ethereum would, if this mirrors the 2016 Bitcoin cycle, Ethereum will hit 1400, its all-time high, and pull back maybe to like 1000, consolidate for a couple months. That, that, that could happen. That's sort of what I'm, I'm, one of my trades, that's what I'm expecting, I'm just going to close it out and then be done. But I'll have some that still roll on. But, uh, but yeah, if Ethereum mirrors what Bitcoin did and goes up to its all-time high and goes up 50%, when you're looking at a 2,400, 2,000, 22, 2,400 dollar Ethereum, so... <laughs> Yeah, some people are just calling for a five thousand dollar Ethereum by the end of this whole thing. I think that's low, ten ten to twenty k. If this whole momentum plays out and the whole year plays out. Anyway, that's uh that's it. You guys have a good night. We'll check back in tomorrow. See if anything changes. Be ready for anything. Peace.